Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, Lumen Moon Tarot. <coughs> Sorry everyone, I have a little cold, <laughs> I think, but I'm all hopped up on like headache medicine and I am good. So um, anyway, tonight I am here to do um, a fan reading, okay, because once in a while um, I do free readings for my fans and, and my loyal people um, because people people need some advice. They need to know that somebody's with them. They need that support and I can do this for them free here, okay? So this is a special reading for a fan, but this is for Cancer and Capricorn, okay? And I, I can't really say the full name of the person, and I, I'm just going to call them by a different name tonight. So I'm going to call this one Alexan, okay? Alexan, we're going to call this person. But this, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> oh, excuse me, <coughs> this reading goes out to Alexan. And it's a Cancer and Capricorn reading, okay? Yeah, it's not going to resonate with everyone. I already know that. If it doesn't resonate with you, it's okay. Don't panic. Just click off and visit another reader on YouTube. There are plenty of great ones. If it does resonate with you and you like the video, please hit the, hit the like button and subscribe <coughs> to the channel. Um... Sorry, I'm, I, I've got a little cold started, so, but I'm okay. Uh, subscribe to the channel, and um, thank you very much for your support. And if you would like to make a donation to my channel, there's a link to follow at the bottom of the description box, and this channel is for adults only. Okay, so Alexanne. Um, let's get started, okay? So Alexanne is a Cancer. And she is, um, her person is a Capricorn, okay? Um, Alexan, it's been a while since, you actually emailed me, so just so you know who you are, we've been, we've emailed back and forth, and that was quite some time ago because I'm just so busy running all the time. But I was like, I've got to get to a reading, I've got to get to a reading, I've got to get to a reading. And usually, like, I can do them right away but with yours it was different and I'm I couldn't figure out why I couldn't actually pin down a good time why you know the energy I wasn't I just wasn't really connecting or it was just never a good time until tonight until tonight it was all about divine timing I everything about tonight has been about divine timing all of the messages um, if it wasn't, if I didn't wait until tonight, I wouldn't have gotten the messages that I did. And I'm so glad I waited, Alexanne, because I've got some, like, a very deep message for you. And I, I don't know exactly how to convey it, or so maybe you will know. Um, anyway, the message that I got... Uh, first of all, they showed me a movie scene for you. <laughs> and it's from the movie The Seventh Sign. Or is it just Seventh Sign? It's with Demi Moore. Okay? Seventh Sign. And the scene that they showed me was a really short clip. And I don't know, for some reason I keep thinking it's at the end of the movie. But um, one, it, there's a, it's a pregnant woman. Demi Moore is pregnant in this movie. So that may or may not resonate with you. It may or may not resonate with others. I don't know. That was kind of a secondary thing about this movie clip. But it was definitely not the main thing about this clip. Okay? The main thing about this movie clip that they showed me, Alexanne, was... Um, somebody saying enough hope for the whole world that's the movie clip it was that short okay and it's in the movie the seventh sign with demi moore um but that is the what they showed me in my in my head okay um 
that scene where I, I'm pretty sure it's Jesus is telling, is saying this to her or to someone else that's with her, enough hope for the whole world, okay? I, I hope I'm saying that right. That's the movie scene I'm seeing, which tells me that this, the way you're feeling, you have been so hopeful. The divine, I mean, I'm getting chills right now, Alex Ann, and that this usually doesn't happen. I'm actually quite honored to do this reading because that is something that I'm getting the chills again. <laughs> that is something straight from the divine. I think they're trying to tell you that you they see you. They see how good you've been. They've seen the patience. They've seen the struggles. They've seen the hope in you. Enough for the whole world to feel. Okay? And it's just such a strong starting point <laughs> that I actually hope I'm adequate at this reading right now. But then... Um, in the pre-shuffle and how this, how my flash deck, my regular flash deck ended up was with the portal, right? They see that you've had enough hope for the whole world, Alexanne. You have. Now, I haven't figured out whether or not, um, the person you want is going to be here or if you're on a new journey, but I'm seeing here the Ten of Pentacles, this abundant end to a cycle. I know that. This is a completion, but this is abundance. This is wish fulfillment. Wish fulfillment. Possibly a wish that you had enough hope for it for the whole world. Right? But a new portal is coming. See, the one you were on was kind of gray and dingy. They're inviting you to walk through here. A leap of faith. And on the other side, because I'm getting the chills again, <laughs> on the other side, it's going to be bright, a bright future, okay? Now, what really um, was my cue that this was all about divine timing for your personal reading, okay, was the fact that I actually noticed this card was, you know, on top of its deck, right, over here. Or whatever before I shuffle though this was before the shuffle and I was I was communicating with my spirit guides basically and gathering your energy and the energy of your person and trying to get as close to you guys as I could and you know calling out to my spirit guides and I this card just really caught my eye and I never saw it like this before okay this actually came before they showed me enough hope for the whole world okay so this was the first one this is a number eight the 17 breaks down into an eight the reason why I'm holding it upside down is because I did see this card in reverse but I'll tell you why the message that I got was um this girl if you look at her face she does look very hopeful look at she's like yes my wishes are coming yes i'm having faith she glows she's healthy by it this isn't something that's wearing her down this is something she's holding on to look at the way her arms are wrapped around her you know she gently caresses her shoulder this is something she feels loving about this is sh something she would actually turn towards this is something that she makes a wish with her eyes closed and wishes on a star and has enough hope for the whole world that her wish is going to come true. Okay? That's you. The reason why I saw it in reverse, Alexanne, um, it just called to me. I, this is when I noticed that these stars were on a string. Okay, they're on a, see them? They're on a string. You don't notice them on this side. That's where your eye goes to first when it's upright. But when it's in reverse, you notice it. I feel like you have that hope. You have so much hope that 
you want to hold on to those dreams and hold them and hold them and hold them because you feel like they're getting away. See, it feels to you like they're falling, okay, and slipping away. But your hope is so strong that you're keeping them tied. I, I think if you let go, make that wish, and let go and let the divine bring it to you. That's part of the hope. That's part of the poor... I've got messages. I know that's Valerie messaging me. <laughs> I love her. I love her. Okay, so <laughs> I gave her a reading tonight via messenger. So um, anyway, she's like my biggest fan. I think her and Seven maybe, you know, biggest fans. Anywho, um, I'm sorry. Look, if you let, if you just don't keep them on the string, wishes need to be released into the universe, Alexanne. You know, and listen, the, the divine has already recognized you have enough hope for the whole world. And I'm just getting the chills again. The scene, the movie scene, it's really intense. It's very deep and it's very divine. And it's a very prophetic movie. Okay? So I don't know, the whole thing, this whole thing gives me the chills right now. You have a very powerful energy, Alexanne. Um. And that's why you're being recognized, but they also see that you've got your wishes tied together. Okay, that that might have a different meaning for you or some of you actually. Your wishes are tied together. But wishes are meant to be, you know, you make that wish and you release it to the universe so the universe can bring it to you. You kind of have to let go of control so that the divine can put you on the path, so that the divine can bring to you what it is that you've been manifesting, okay? But yeah, the seventh sign with Demi Moore, enough hope for the whole world. I think that's, I think, <laughs> anyway. Um, but yeah, it's, it still gives me the chills, that little movie clip that they showed me. All right, so I wanted to talk about that before I put out any cards because it was a really intense message. And honestly, if that's all that I gave you, this would all be worth the wait, okay? If that's all that I gave you, it would still be worth the wait. That was an intense message. Um, but anywho, Alexan, this is what's coming towards you. It looks like somebody wants to give back to a situation. They want to give back to you. Okay, they're all coming out here. Somebody, they're just spilling now. Somebody was um, very, very selfish in a situation with you. Um, I feel like you have been stabbed in the back by this person, left to bleed out, and left for dead. And this person, it actually, um, I really don't believe that they gave a crap at the time. I feel like, like, they really, I don't know if they took advantage of you. Um, I feel like this, if this is in public, this is in a war. You may have been publicly humiliated by this person. And now they want to come and give back to you. They want to offer you an apology. Um, yeah, you're a cancer sign. That's right. This is for Capricorn. Sorry. I, oh, I'm used to trying to call out the signs now. But yeah, they want to offer you an apology, okay? They're coming in with an apology. They're coming in slow. You guys may have been friends or they may just want to start out slow with a, with a friendship, a, a small offer of stability. Um, you know, try to get a friendship back with an apology um, because you're their empress, all right? This is every queen rolled up into one person, okay? Nurturing, kind, loving, highly intuitive, um, has, is extremely loving, a mother figure, um, takes care of her own crap, <laughs> um, is... Uh, 
she rocks her own shit, right? She's she doesn't play any games, she doesn't waste any of her time, and she's not gonna allow anyone else to waste her time either, right? She um did I say highly intuitive? Yeah. Then she takes action. She goes after what she wants and goes after it and gets it. She's highly attractive. She's every queen in the deck. And that's why they're like, they, and they selfishly tried to destroy you, selfishly stabbed you in the back, selfishly left you for dead, um, and didn't care. Didn't care. Now they do. Now they do. Now they want to give back to the situation because you had enough hope for the whole world. Okay. Um, this is, though, however, it looks like a situation that came to an end. But with the death card also, um, it also speaks of transformation, okay? So anytime something dies, whenever a door closes, another one has to open, right? Whenever a situation or a relationship dies, you get an opportunity for something new to begin. That's just the ways of the universe, okay? So along with death or an ending to something, there's also transformation for something something different, all right? However, um, here you are, Cancer, right? There may be secrets, lies, and deception here. There's things that aren't hidden, truths that are untold. There's still things that the light has that the light hasn't been shed on, okay? And possibly that's what's bringing this to an end, but we'll find out because a lot of cards came out together. That was almost too many for me. Um, clarify the moon and death, please. Yeah, somebody wants to come back and start giving to the situation. Yeah, it's this person from your past here. They may be messaging you soon, letting you know that um, you're their happiness. You are what makes them happy. They want to start giving back. They know that you are their empress. They want to apologize. They want to apologize for hurting you and destroying you, ruining your heart, stabbing you in the back, and leaving you for dead. Alexanne. Yeah, because you know what? They've been reminiscing. They've been um, in their emotions over this. They've been realizing the gifts that you brought to their life, uh, their life. Sorry, the gifts that you brought to their life, the the blessings that you brought to their life. They realize that you feel like home. You had their back, right? Yeah. So they want to transform this situation here. But this is also something that's very secretive. I feel like this person either has a secret, clarify the moon. Maybe they have kept this secret from you that you are their happiness. I just want to see what that is. That was the star. So healing and making wishes. Making wishes. I believe this was your wish. They want a new beginning here. They want a new beginning. They may feel like a fool as well, but this is somebody who is willing to take that leap of faith. Wanting to take that leap of faith. You guys may even be mirroring each other. The, the universe urges you to take that leap and make that wish and release it to the universe. Okay? Because there's, remember that new portal is here. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's still Valerie texted me. Sorry, Valerie, I'm in the middle of a reading. Yeah, the old cycle has ended. The Wheel of Fortune is turning. And the new cycle has to begin. Okay? Somebody is going to be starting in a, new, a new leap of faith. I think this person wants something new with you, does not want you to start something new. Because you're their happiness here, Alexanne. But this wheel has got to turn. It didn't come out, so I just pulled it from the bottom of the deck. So I'm not going to take it, but... Um, yeah, this empress who has enough hope for the whole world. Someone is very... I'm going to take that in reverse, though. Someone's very heavily burdened by all of this. 
very heavily burdened. They were moving slow. I don't believe that they're coming anytime soon though. There's a delay. There's a delay, something about some burdens that's going on with them. They're dropping burdens. They're at the end of, of, the, of Burdenville here. This is a completion card. So I think there's a delay in them coming. Um, they may be, okay. They may um, be in a commitment already, Alexanne. They may be committed to someone else already. Um, if this is the Queen of Pentacles in reverse, this is not a stable person right now. It seems like there's um, deceptive energy around them somehow, perhaps coming from this very unstable Queen of Pentacles that they may be um, committed to right now. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of deceptive energy here, um, thieving, that kind of thing, planning, plotting, strategizing. <sighs> yeah, they're, and they're not, they're unable to take any action and they're unable to change it at this time. They're, they cannot manipulate the situation. But they do love you and they do, they have a lot of love inside, but this is somebody who isn't showing it, okay? They're just not showing it. This, the King of Cups has his love and his emotions under control. He doesn't want to show it to anybody. They do not wear their heart on their sleeve. So you're not going to notice it off of this person, okay? They're going to seem quite aloof, but on the inside, they're just a mushy ball of mashed potatoes for you, okay? Mashed potatoes is love. Come on now. Mashed potatoes is love. I think we should make that a t-shirt. All right, so what's the central focus here for Alexanne? I hope this reading is making sense, guys. Um... Uh, What's the central focus here for Alexanne? Yeah, I feel like <clears throat> either they're spending a lot of time on work, you could be spending a lot of time on work, perfecting a skill, possibly learning a new trade. I'm What I'm really seeing here though is, <sighs> I'm seeing threes. the third party situation perhaps you're being watched perhaps uh, somebody wants to work on this somebody wants to put work into this I think you're being watched Alexan but I think you're being watched by both your person and the person that's unstable that they may be committed to. Um, yeah, because they, your person's at a crossroads right now trying to decide between you and this unstable person. <laughs> and they've made a decision. So this unstable person now is also watching you and your person is watching you your person has made their decision they just have they haven't moved forward any at all yet they haven't taken any forward action towards this at all but i feel like um alexand that your hope enough hope for the whole world is calling this person in you're calling your wishes to you okay you're calling them to you. You just you just don't need to keep them on a string. You gotta release them so that they can come to come to you on their own. Okay. Let go of any control. Because you do, you do have enough hope for the whole world. I'm getting the chills again. I'm telling you, it's an honor to do this reading. <laughs> because I just feel like it's just such an honor. The divine is really um, giving you very high marks for your hope, Alexanne. Thank you for the opportunity to give you a reading. Um, 
All right, what else can you show us for Alexanne? Ooh, that's too many. Now this person is an emperor. We, oh, okay, so now we have a power couple match here. So this person, okay, so this emperor here, I always feel like there's something fairly narcissistic about this dude because he runs the show. You don't go up against the emperor for any reason, for any reason. If he says, bring me regular M&Ms and all you can find is peanut M&Ms, you do not freaking go and tell him that you could only find the peanut ones. I don't care, you You drive through a tri-state area to find the damn regular M&Ms. If he wants regular M&Ms, do not get him the peanut M&Ms because your world will come crashing down on you for that. Like, that's the kind of energy I see the emperor, okay? He can be very rigid. He is a father figure, okay? I'm sorry, I've got an itchy finger, so something's going on with that. So we're getting messages here. Um, he is a father figure, but this is a power couple match. Neither one of them are going to take any shit. Both of them are extremely stable. Both of them are highly independent. They are not codependent people. The thing though with the emperor is that he likes to take control. He does what he wants the way he wants it when he wants it done. And he doesn't care what other people say about it. I'm so itchy. He doesn't care what other people say about it, but he definitely sees you as his match. This is this person from your past. Okay, let's see what these are. They're having a tower moment. You've been waiting. Um, they're having a tower moment over this person who has been waiting to collect all these pentacles. Okay, um, this is a person who's usually underestimated because of the clothes that she wears. Because in two shakes, she changes into the Empress in the Minor Arcana. Okay? Okay, so, hold on. I got to cover up again, so. <laughs> all right. Um, all right, she flips into the, into the Empress in the Minor Arcana, right? He didn't see that she was an empress. This person, your person underestimated you, Alexanne. Your person underestimated you, and now he's kind of pissy about it. He's fairly narcissistic about it. He just wants to swoop in, take control. That's it, because he missed an opportunity here with you. A golden one. A golden, holy grail, cup of love opportunity with you. The real deal. The soulmate thing. This is the shit. The shiznit, the one. That's what this person missed with you, Alexanne. In a third party situation here, this holy grail cup of love now is empty. They're, they're sitting in this emotion, this running stream of constant emotion. And all they can do is think, I had it that whole time right there by me. And I let it go all because I underestimated this person and kept this person waiting. I didn't realize she was the freaking empress. I didn't realize she was my perfect match. I didn't realize how much she glowed, how strong she was, and how she was every queen in the freaking deck. Right? Right? And so now, because of what they missed out on, because you're super freaking abundant. I mean, you know, you're seven and I mean, you're empress, but you're just, you were waiting to reap all of that. Now their, their foundation is coming down. Like, oh crap. All right, Alexanne, here's the thing you have to understand. Just like how I opened with divine timing, everything has divine timing. You may have enough hope, and this is not in the cards. This is something that I guess I'm getting for you. Um, you have enough hope for the whole world, right? Divine timing will, will allow for your dreams to come back to you when you're ready. Just like I did your reading when it was the right time, led by the divine, right? It took a while, but these are the best messages. I'm getting chills here, okay? So look, divine timing 
even though you have hope enough for the whole entire world for someone, right? Let's just say that someone had certain things that were just unacceptable, treatments that were unacceptable, behavior that was unacceptable. Even though you have hope enough for the whole world, you have hope enough for them, but what about you? Do you have hope enough for the whole world when it comes to you? Because your wishes, you shouldn't keep them on a string. You know, and, and of course you bossed up and you're the empress and you're not going to take anybody's shit. But here's the thing, if they were to come to you prior to having learned their lessons for this behavior in the past, what would happen? If you took them back then without them learning how to treat you, what do you think would happen, Alexanne? People need to learn how to treat other people the right way. You know, some people, it's, are, they learn easier than others. Some people know right away right and wrong how to treat somebody. But you know what? There's a fair share that don't know. And they're not going to learn unless the divine show them. Show unless the divine shows them. You know, so you don't want, even though you've had hope and you've had hope and you've had hope and you fear letting go of those wishes, right? You fear letting go of them. Look, know what it is that you will accept and allow. And, and know what it is that you don't want. And make sure that the person that you're going to be with has learned the lesson so they can give you what you will accept and allow. Okay? Because without those lessons, they may come to you like this again. They may come to you like this again. But with the lessons, with the lessons learned... Where is he? Where is he? I know he's in here somewhere. I'm looking for the King of Cups. I know I got him in here somewhere. I got him before. Anyway, we'll just do this then. Cup. Without those, with, with the lessons learned, they'll come to you like this. Without the lessons learned, they'll come to you like this. How do you want it? I know you have hope enough for the whole world. But what part are you hopeful for? The one who has learned the lessons or the one who hasn't, right? And you have to, you also have to have hope for yourself too. You know, don't get with somebody just because you've had hope, you've had hope, you've had hope. Well, here they come, say, but say they don't learn their lessons. You had hope you made a wish, you still got them. Just use discernment, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. You know, and make sure that this person isn't going to come to you with all this deceptive energy. You know what I mean? But it looks to me like they are, they are missing, very much missing you, and they know they missed this opportunity. But the, the, my only issue is that they're in emperor energy. Now this could also be a boss, a business owner, an executive, like this is the big man in charge. Like I said, you don't mess or disagree even with the emperor. In some cases, I wouldn't even try to give him my opinion about anything. Crap. You know what I mean? I would just be silent <laughs> dealing with this kind of energy, but this is somebody who wants to take control. All right, you know what? Let's get you um, a final outcome, shall we? Right? All right, what's the final outcome here? Oh, this person's going to be very, very lonely because they're... Um, oh, no, well... Either your person's going to be really, really lonely because you're not, you're not going to just give in and, com and start the communication. You, you are standing in your power, apparently, definitely, with the Empress. You're standing in your power. You're going to do what you want for you. Good. Good. 
So you may be making, because of that, power and strength, they may be feeling very lonely. Um, I see this as a, as a, you know, an empty chair, but I don't see you feeling bad about it. There may be children involved in here. You may have a baby or somebody may have a baby on the way and they're pushing it under the rug. I think that there, somebody's been very tired of like partner hopping. This is partner hopping. Somebody's sick and tired and bored with all of that type of behavior. Babies coming in, being hidden, um, hose in and out, yeah. Somebody's bored with it. Bored with it. Bored, bored, bored of this lifestyle. What else can you show me? I just think that there's a lot of light that's going to be shed on everything. And I think, um, I think it's divine timing, really. Ooh, and bread. Why did I miss half of the deck? Yeah, I missed half of the deck there. That may be, um, that's not something normal that I usually do. So that may be a sign of something. You may be missing half of the story. Somebody may come to tell you the truth and they may keep out this part where maybe they may be brushing, hiding a baby under a rug here because they've been hopping around. Yeah, they're missing half the story out. And you're just going to find that, you, you know, you're bored with all of this now. Because the divine is sending you on that, uh, oh, I put the card back in the deck, that through that portal. Yeah, there's two snakes in the picture here. Two snakes. I would be very careful about this if I were you, but blessings are coming your way, Alex Ann, because you have had, um, you've had enough hope for the whole world, dear. And you are, you are, I'm getting the chills again. Yes, you're um, being very well acclaimed for that, or you're getting, um, the divine is noticed and they're, they're, they're giving you, and holy, holy, holy is on the radio right now. Holy, holy, holy is on the radio right now. I'm telling you, Alexanne, oh, you're very special. What else can you show us? Someone's very scared by something. I feel like it's their lifestyle. <laughs> I feel like it's their lifestyle. You know, with the skin on these frogs to this person, they may have even picked something up and have a baby on the way. All of these things are secrets. You know, with these two snakes here, this emperor, all of these people hopping, yeah, this emperor just wants a claim from you. You are very special, special individual, Alexander. Your person wants some acclaim for you. This is like when you feed that emperor grapes, you're letting somebody know that they're precious to you, that they're, you're putting them up on a high pedestal. Do you know what I mean? Feeding someone grapes. This is how they want you to treat them. They don't want you to know perhaps about the bed hopping of toads and the babies here and secrets being pushed under the rug. They're literally afraid for you to know. Once you find out, you're just going to be bored with it. You're going to go wander off, do your own thing, you know, in your strength, in your glory, and they're going to be left alone. Crickets chirping is what I hear. I hope this is making sense. But you, the divine, has seen your hope. I just saw the portal card again. The divine is saying, we've seen your hope. But don't keep your wishes on a string, darling. Yeah, they're around somebody who is just whacked out. Um, she's not stable. This is someone who's fake and not stable. Someone who's very, very smart. 
someone who can plan a lot of bullshit, someone who may have planned a pregnancy. I don't know. Yeah, milk. Hmm. Yeah, I feel like this is possibly the person that they were committed to. Um, could be an earth sign as well. But I feel very deceptive energy here, kind of crazy lunatic energy here. Um, fake planning, plotting, strategizing. This is someone very smart, very sneaky, maybe planning a pregnancy here with the baby in the milk possibly afraid that your person may leave because they are thinking about you. Um, your person may want, or somebody's keeping something a secret. You know, this person may have been the one to do the hopping. She may have been even, this person may be getting pregnant with someone else, keeping it a secret. She's definitely a snake. This is the person who is a snake here. Hmm. That one's a hard one to figure out. Hold on a second. Let's do this deck. Clarify all of that, please. Claire, who's doing the bed hopping and the toad hopping? Yeah, with the toads too, I'm wondering if somebody didn't pick up an STD perhaps. Yeah, somebody who wants to go off into calmer waters with the with the high priestess, though. Oh boy, I'm wondering. Yeah, I think your I think your person may have. Well, there there's babies involved here. I think perhaps your person has been out there bed hopping around, or somebody has. Yeah, lovers card. This could be your your person from your your past, your lover, because now we've got the Empress out here twice, and we know that that's you. But we have somebody who wants to go to calmer waters. Okay, you just either you just want to get away from this crap. Then we've got justice. This is their justice, perhaps for all staying in this mess. Staying in this mess, when you wallow in the mud, you just sink deeper in. When you wallow in the mud, you just sink deeper in. I feel like either they know that and want to go to calmer waters with you, or you just said, that's what I'm really feeling. You just said, screw this. I'm an empress. I'm going to calmer freaking waters. Um, I'm, you know, this is a, this is a divine union or a divine soulmate connection and everything, or could be, but this, this isn't divine, all of this snaky stuff and toads, you know what I mean? And things being swept under the rug, babies and fake people and... Yeah, you're like, no, you know what? Let this old cycle freaking close out. I'm taking my crap and I'm loading it in this boat and I'm going to calmer waters and and I'm going to wait for that wheel to turn because I'm an empress. Even though I know that this is such a great soulmate connection, I got to do my own thing now because I'm just tired and bored with all of this drama. But yet at the same time, you have enough hope for the whole world. And I think you have hope in you. And I think your placement is right as far as what it is you want and what it is that you don't want anymore, right? What it is you want and what it is you don't want. But the wishes though, Alexandre, the wishes, you're keeping them on a string, baby. Don't be afraid. Take that leap of faith because you know what? The Let your wishes. Release them. Release the wishes. Release them. 
so that they can go to the universe and the universe can send your stuff to you. <laughs> the messages aren't getting released so they can make it to the universe, Alexa. Alexan. Alexan. Right? Did I say that right? Alexan. There, that's it. Why did I say Alexa? Alexan. You know who you are. Yeah. You got to release them so they can come back to you in eight. What goes out has to come back. It goes around, comes around. Okay. But yeah, someone is getting their justice hardcore, it looks like. Um, watch the Divine Masculine read that I just did um, because uh, much of this is kind of in that story here. Yeah. You know, somebody's holding back communication, holding on to the situation, whatever. All right, what, um, what advice can you give Alex Ann before we go, Divine? What advice can you give Alex Ann? Yeah, a change. There's a change coming, okay? There's a change coming, Alex Ann. Let this old stuff, just let the wind take it. Let the wind take it. Your, your foundation will stand. Okay? Your foundation will stand. Don't worry. Just let the wind take it and let that change come to you. That's about like letting go of control. Letting things get stripped away. Letting the possibilities come along with the wind. Okay? And mend yourself. Just relax. Relax, baby. You know, yes, manifest, but don't keep those wishes on a string, okay? Don't keep them tied to you. Let them go and mend yourself, then relax. Let it go, release it, and then fill yourself back up, okay? Play like a kid again. Maybe stop for a minute and just look at that beautiful sunset. Who, you know, not many people do anymore. Do it. Notice the blessings around you. When you notice and you're calm, you'll start seeing these wishes come back to you now. Okay? I just got the chills. Yes. Yeah, they're all right up my legs. <laughs> okay. So yes, when you're chill and you're playing like a kid and you're noticing the sunsets, yeah, here they come again, straight up my legs. Ooh. When you're at peace and your mind is rested and you're mending yourself and feeding yourself, you're going to start noticing your wishes coming to you then. You know, when you're in the hustle and bustle and the rat race and you're stressed out and you're trying to control your wishes and trying to control situations, you can't notice your blessings coming to you. And they will. Just relax. Okay? And there's no place like home. You know what? Yeah, while you're mending, have some quiet, peaceful times at home. You know what? It would be really hard for somebody to get to this front door. Maybe make it make that hard for people to get to you. Maybe isolate yourself a little bit. That may be what you're doing these days, and you know what? It could be working. Because you know what? You're noticing those simple things. You're letting yourself be stripped of all of the old crap. That's what the divine wants you to do. Okay? They've seen. You have enough hope for the whole world. Alex Ann. It was truly a pleasure, darling. Thank you very much for um, having me give you a reading here on the channel. Okay? I hope this resonated with you, and I, I hope it resonated with others. It was a beautiful message. Um, I hope you all take care of yourselves, and peace out. <laughs>